us where the inspiration comes from on the work that you do. I'm inspired by the, lands the beautiful landscapes that you find across Canada. I've traveled all across Canada extensively, and I love, I love the Canadian wilderness and the Canadian uh, waterways, and that's what I'm inspired by. As you look at a white piece of canvas, do you uh, think of the color palette and the, uh, the technical aspects of the work that you're doing, or are the first thoughts the inspiration, this mental inspiration that you get that you now want to translate onto the canvas? Definitely need to be inspired by what I see, and then with that, um, that vision or with that uh, landscape, I create a design, um, something that's appealing, that's attractive, and then I always infuse color into it. I love color. What's so interesting to me is as I've looked at your work, there seems to be these dominant colors, one or two colors that seem to be dominant in the piece when you step back. But then when you study the piece more closely, there are these little subtle suggestions uh, that bring out, sort of almost create a storyline on the work. Well, I've learned that um, you can't just work with primary colors and bold colors. You have to infuse um, colors which are sort of dormant or tertiary colors. I think they always, they seem to bring out the brilliant colors by introducing these, these mysterious, subtle colors into the landscape yeah. as well. Yeah. And it seems as though uh, size is not a restricting factor with you. You can go small or you can go quite large. I work 4 by 6 and I work 40 by 60. Yes, I love, bigger the better sometimes. I love large landscapes, yes. Well, we're thrilled to have you here at the show. Your work has been absolutely joyful. Uh, congratulations on the award yep. that you received earlier uh, in the week. And uh, welcome to New York. I'm very pleased to be here. Thanks very much.